Girl, you know that. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey guys, welcome to, uh, to another episode of Blur Talk. We are still fighting this motherfucking pumpkin. Let's get it. Die, motherfucker. We are still fighting this. Man. this dude, I mean, looks like he's looks like he's in pain now. Last time he was laughing, but now he actually looks like he's in pain. We're doing like something, guys. Keep, keep it up. Hit him with all of that shit. I needed to go right. to the market and get some attack power. I got attack power only. Use that. I need an enhanced attack power. Oh, okay. Alright. Alright, how you guys doing? Today's episode, we don't really have titles for these episodes anymore. We just kind of, um, we take the topic and we just decide titles afterwards. It takes a lot of brain power that Jarrell just doesn't like to use, but we don't mind it. Fuck you guys. Okay. Alright. <laughs> fuck me, bro. I'm inside of, I'm fighting a giant pumpkin inside the giant pumpkin. I don't give a fuck what you got. Okay. Alright. Fuck you. Fuck you guys. Go ahead. Fuck you guys, I'm getting that. Come on, man. Anyway, today's episode, so today's episode, we're going to talk about a few topics. We're going to talk about anime you have to explain. We're going to talk about anime that are just, like, fucking weird. And you have to give an explanation to it. Because people just fully don't understand what the fuck's going on. And we have to really kind of sit there and explain this anime. These are animes that people just kind of don't get and they don't understand. So, one anime I feel like I have to often explain, we have to explain to BB in one of the last episodes, which was fucking Fooly Cooly. For some odd reason, BB didn't understand why this young protagonist female wants to fuck the giant flaming bird that eats planets. I don't understand that shit either. <laughs> but BB, but BB, I mean, I'm surprised. Darrell, you know, you are, we get you, but like BB, 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 BB has, the way BB is, it's one of those things, like, BB, why are you questioning why she wants to fuck a giant bird? I, I, I can see BB as an anime character wanting to fuck a giant bird. I mean, like, is there a reason why she wanna fuck an intergalactic big bird, you know? Just... It, it, she, it's, it, it's because the bird gives her power. I mean, but why she need to fuck thing. it? She can just, like, kill it and eat its meat or, you know, it's a bird, goddammit. You know, I love it. it's chicken. I love KFC's bucket, but you ain't seen me trying to fucking bucket. Right? Exactly! That's I mean, to be fair, Jarrell, I mean, I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Good Luck Chuck, but I can see you trying to stick in a great food in the microwave. Wait, wait, do what now? You can see the I said Jarrell. But anyway, for Fooly Cooly, yeah, I, I don't understand why you just cannot understand Fooly Cooly. Another anime I find myself often having to explain just because of how fucking dirty they do the characters, the fucking darling in the front. They do. I'm sorry, I am still on Fat Boy. They did that nigga wrong, yo. They did Tubby Marvel wrong, yo. <laughs> his name, by the way, his name ain't Tubby Marvel. I just don't remember his name, so I call him, I call him Tubby Marvel. Tubby yeah, Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> They did, they did fucking fat one. I, I feel like we can fight this fucking girl. We have to fight this fucking pumpkin for like 10 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> it takes a while, but he's gonna die. He's gonna die. We don't, I think his health bar is like 100 billion. Who makes this, buddy? But he gives you an ass and shit, and he drops gear if you can get it. So, I mean, good gear. Not no whack ass shit you can get out of dungeon. Alright, but um, so anyhow, the word I'm looking for, the thing I'm about is like, Darling and the Friends. How did you guys feel about Darling and the Friends? Is that an anime you said you have to explain the fucking thing? Ah, uh, Jarrell, you go first, because I can't think of the name I want. I love the fucking What's the anime? And then, Darling and the Friends, have you ever seen it? Nope. Alright, never mind. Uh, so it's like, okay, so what anime do you feel you have to actually explain to people? No, Jarrell, explain it. Not Jarrell, Jay, explain it to us, man. Darling and the Prince? Yeah, it sounds like right. a Disney Channel movie. It really isn't. What it is is about, so these kids are made, it's basically a mecha anime. Where these kids have to pilot these mecha, these, these giant mecha. But for oh, one of the main oh. character, his wait, thrill wait. is What the you said? You said Darling and the Prince or Darling and the Prince? Darling and the Prince. You know you've seen Darling oh, and the Prince. Oh, that's my you, favorite you I fucking okay, hate I'm you. Sorry. You had a whole conversation about <laughs> it. I'm sorry. 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 I'm sorry.
I'm fighting the damn Pokemon, goddammit. <laughs> we were just talking about it with the fat boy, he got dirty and he got done dirty by the relationship. And then I was so girl promised girl promised him she was gonna girl promised him she was always gonna be with him and then turned around and got pregnant by the other dude. She, she ended fucked, up she liking fucked. the ass over the Yeah, she fucked Tabi Maro over. I have never forgiven her about that. How dare you fuck over Tabi Maro, yo? <laughs> Tabi Maro didn't deserve that. Tabi Maro was a good man. He was Tabi a Tabi great guy. Man. Wanted to give her the fucking world. I bet you if he would have got some abs, her little bitch ass would have went running right back to him. So she basically just turned her back on his ass. So we want to fight her for that shit. We do want to fight her for this shit. Yeah, like she she deserves every bullshit. That's why her, her fucking memory got wiped. Her stupid ass. Yeah, <laughs> fuck that bitch. <laughs> fuck that bitch. Bitch ass. Oh, bitch ass hoe. I can't stand her. Jesus. No, but you know what's kind of sad was that the girl. Oh, I can't remember her name, but I think she had purple hair. The girl with the glasses. How she wanted to fuck the, the leader of the crew and couldn't really fuck her. Well, she was she was super thought. That's let's, let's not pretend that she wasn't. She was super thought. Yeah, she really wanted to fuck the female leader so bad. And the, so I was like, I could pilot with a girl. We could do same-sex pilot. Like, no. Yeah, Jarrell, you, you have to actually watch this anime because the pilot, the pilot, the mecha, you need opposite sex. He's, they're pretty much raised from like kids to be together. They're supposed to be like lifelong partners. Yeah. Basically, they're teaching kids how to have sex with robots. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yes, that's exactly what it is. They're teaching you how to do doggy <laughs> style through pot. The fuck is y'all watching? Man, you need it's to watch it. It's called the Franks. Look at that. Jarrell, you would love it though. I, I really feel like you would love it. At first, it might be some what the fuck type shit going on, but I think you would love it. I mean, he admitted he watched clinical porn. This man, this man has no cameras. Oh, yeah. He can't oh, even argue yeah. that. Oh, that, was, oh, that, was, that was a joke. I never watched it. That wasn't a joke. Anyway, no, that no, was, that was no joke. That wasn't a joke. That wasn't a joke. That wasn't a joke. We know that shit's real. No, no. We know that. So, that shit's real. Dude would be me. Leave what you want to be. Whatever you, whatever you want. I believe what you said. We have a whole conversation of it. I we have a whole episode about it. I was bullshit. like a whole episode. Yeah. You was bullshit for a whole episode? Game I was bullshit. I was bullshit that 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 conversation. I thought we was joking around. I was getting serious. I was serious. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, 15 minutes in, and I'm still fighting this fucking pumpkin. Yeah. Just <laughs> keep, don't give up, Jay. Don't give up. Don't give up. I'm going to go, I'm gonna go, get, some, I'm gonna go get some coffee. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> You can take a break if you want to, because more people start to come, but don't give up, because this shit really- I'm gonna actually just- That's I'm gonna go and just give- I'm just gonna go and sit on this, like, okay, so, oh wait, he's gonna die, he's dying, he's dying, he's dying! He's dying. Nah, he ain't, All right, he ain't so, quite dying yet. That's a, that's a trick, to keep us to keep fighting uh, Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, Jarrell, what anime have you found yourself having to explain to people? Explain? I, I don't think I have to explain as an anime to them. Really? You never had to, so you tell me you never watched the anime that was just weird as fuck, people didn't understand it, you got to find yourself trying to explain to people why do you watch that anime? Nah, I didn't explain myself. I guess so. But what I watch is what I watch. Because he's so secluded. Yeah, that, bro, you, you got it. I mean, we his friends, but, you know. I don't like you, we don't have a dog. I don't want to hear nothing. We all see him on every day because he worked the streets. He be out there. He be out there. He be out there twerking BDB for them dollars. Don't you play with yeah, me? Yeah, he be slinging his meat. That's what he's doing. Get it. Get it. Get meat it. Get slinger. it, girl. All right. Meat slinger. All right. So moving okay. off a of dollar in the front. BB, what about you? What anime have you found yourself having to explain? I actually have to look up the name. Um, it's called. It's, it's like B three. I think it's, it's something like. It's like B with. Oh, uh, B thirteen. Is it B thirteen? It's like B the beginning. I know what you're talking about. Is it with the, the, the guy who... Uh, yeah, 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 you're talking about Yeah, it, that was a pretty strange anime, and I'm actually waiting on season two, because they keep, they hinted at the season two that I have not seen. And I'm waiting for it, because I need, I need it in my life. That shit was so awesome. It was just... It, pretty, it, it was pretty good. Some of the fight scenes was alright. Some of the fight scenes was kind of lackluster. Yeah. Some of the fight scenes were pretty good. But I like the plot. 
it was just such an suspenseful yeah. plot. Like it kind of, it kind of kept you wondering what's really going on. Right when you thought you this had something cool. figured out, all of a sudden they throw in another piece. Like, oh, and this. And you're like, what the fuck? Wait, wait, no. But well, the mixture, the mixture, the mixture of like the supernatural entities, I guess you call it, and like the detectives and shit, kind of kept the storyline going there. But that yeah. makes me actually like, so what, what was something you had to explain to people about though? Like what was it that like people didn't seem to fully get about it? The fact that the experimental part, like what was so significant about experimenting on the children? Shit, play that to me. I want to know what was so significant about experimenting on the children. They experimented on some children. I mean, they did, but like you said, the, the, what was significant about it? What was significant about it? Like stem cells or some shit? Not just stem cells. It's kind of like test dummies. Like, you know, what all people do when they experiment on kids. Either trying to live yeah. longer or trying to build. Actually, I think in this case, it would build better weapons. Have a more controllable live weaponry than what they wanted Yo. to do. And that shit ain't I mean, work out the way they wanted it to. I mean, the thing about it, though, was like, the point of the story was like the dude when he would kill the other experiment, he took pieces of their bodies, right? And they mm -hmm. them, or they became part of them. That's that's kind of like creepy to know that like you that like your life is in your own, that you're you're a collective or something. Wait, that's still Anfrank? Huh? What nigga? No, no, we moved on from from Darling and Frank. Where are you? See, that's what happens when you beat your meat and try to do a podcast, man. He's watching. He's watching. He's watching that. He's watching that. He's watching that tentacle hand. Sorry, I'm getting it. Sorry, I'm getting it. Um. Oh, that is not good. Get your meat out your hand, sir. Take your meat out sir, your hand. Take, not worth it. Take the dick out your hand. Off your ass and on your feet. No time to get your meat, sir. You've been working on that line for a while, haven't you? Nah, y'all remember that movie? <laughs> that, no, I can't remember. That. Well, uh, well said, uh, what's the name of the name? Oh, fuck, I can't remember the name of the movie. I can't remember the name of the movie. Right. So, Jarrell, since you have no topic to really give us, the next topic is fuck them kids. Fuck Break them up an anime that right. literally said fuck them kids. Every anime said fuck them kids, damn near. Every anime said fuck them kids, pretty much, like, fuck them parents. How the fuck you love them? Fuck your parents. Uh, fuck your life. Your love life. Fuck you that. You ain't, you ain't loving my dad. I mean, Isn't it an assassination's I classroom? I think is the name of it. They definitely said fuck these damn kids. Even fuck though at the end I mean, they love the kids, but you know at, at the beginning I mean, fuck that's these goddamn. That's let's be 100 percent Promise Neverland and Attack on Titan is just a team of fucking kids. Attack on the Titan. Uh, attack on, attack on Titan. Attack on Titan. They was like, <laughs> Titan, they was like, oh, you can walk, you can fight. Go, into, go fight the wall, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm inside the pumpkin. Goblin Slayer. Goblin Slayer. Fucking uh, Titan. Fuck them kids. Fuck them kids. Oh, fuck them kids. Oh, Goblin Slayer. Goblin Slayer first episode pissed off a lot of people. Oh, oh, I bet it did. Uh, it concludes. You know what I mean? But then, well, that pissed me off though. The first episode was so dark, and then the rest of it was just like, I'm dead now, finally. The first episode was so damn dark, but the rest of it, the rest of it was like happy-go-lucky uh, and friendly. Bullshit. It only gave me he little bit of shit. Some, yeah, he only dropped some coins. He didn't drop like and... any kind of thing. You tell me. We was fight. We fought this pumpkin for like 15 minutes for him to give me 800 coin, BB. Man, nice. I wanted gear Put this it. time. Same. You got me excited when you talk about gear and shit. Yeah, gear and but all right. I'm about to go fight this fucking. I'm about to go fight this fucking Cyclops. Fuck it. Anyhow. This shit I'm out. So, I honest, but no, you're right. A lot of animes have said fuck them kids. I mean, my favorite anime is one of the fuck them kids anime. We talk about bitch, come here. Bleach. We talk about what anime when, is that? When the Hollows attack the school, fuck them kids. Oh, that was definitely a fucking kid moment. <laughs> but no that was definitely a fucking kid moment. Uh, but we're gonna be real. Blood, be blood real sea, about it. Fucking kids. Oh, blood sea was definitely a fuck. Yo, blood sea. Blood sea was no, nah, bro. Blood sea wasn't fuck them kids. Blood sea was fuck a whole town. Blood sea was like you yeah, fuck this village. But they mostly <laughs> attacked the school. <laughs> they they attacked the school because they went anywhere Saya was at. They went after her. She, she should have known that shit. But yo, they I would have been like she fuck said them fuck kids them kids. too. When I, 
<laughs> bro, I been like, bro, I would have been that way too if I found out how all my best friends were just actors. Like that part pissed. That part was like that part had me like. That was a twist. That was a fucking. That part twist. had me. Yeah, that was a plot twist. That part had me like, yo, they not even your real niggas. Monsters are being <laughs> fake, and the monsters <laughs> and the demons are being controlled by human. By human. Fuck them kids. Oh, so, so honestly, Philly, we talking about blood sea. That movie was disappointing though. Like it really was the movie to it. The movie started out good, but I was really unsatisfied with the way it was. Never saw that movie. You never saw the Blood Sea movie? Oh, I'm gonna be sending you a link for this. But <laughs> the Blood Sea movie was was really just like it started out good, had some good shit, but it was just it was the ending was disappointed, and then it was like yeah, but nah, man, Blood Sea. Let's see goes on top list for some for some of the most fuck them kids, fuck that village is particularly gory as shit. And let's talk about like when they unleashed the fucking rabbits on those motherfuckers and those motherfuckers <laughs> was trying to get out the village. They was shooting these niggas at the gate. Uh, these niggas trying to climb the fence and they just opened up a 50 call on these motherfuckers. They were like, yo, uh, they just, they... <laughs> motherfuckers, them kids. motherfuckers. Man, man, they wasn't just kids, that was the whole village. Motherfuckers running for their lives. You hear somebody, he's like, this isn't what we was told was supposed to happen. It was like, damn, bro. Fuck like, <laughs> <laughs> them kids. But like, I'm surprised, I'm surprised the shit. I'm surprised Digimon was fucking kids moment. Digimon was definitely fucking kids. I was actually about to bring that shit back up next. I mean, you read my mind. I Digimon, mean, Digimon, I mean, Digimon, Digimon and Pokemon is more fuck them kids than people would even want to talk about. I mean, right. Literally, how do you send, I mean, how do you send really your 10 year old kid out on a journey in the world to go catch white animals? Here's a fucking <laughs> rat. Go catch all the fucking animals in the world and they'll come back to you. Go, go catch something that breathes fires and, and, and poison. Oh, that's, Bro, it, like, it, but they were safe. You know, in that world, they were safe. <laughs> <laughs> How was they was safe? And I mean, if you look at Pokemon, if and you look at Pokemon in real, if animals like world. that really exist, if animals like that really exist, bro, we would be. Bro, bro. But no, I'm they do exist it. in Australia. And they're fucked. And they're fucked. But think about it, though. You know how there's, there's a whole wasteland they don't go out into? <laughs> like, there's a whole area they don't even touch? Like, yeah, that's the area we don't like. That's the dark zone. Austria, all they do is play Pokemon Go. Like <laughs> 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 Shit. <laughs> Alright, I, I'm honestly gonna say Digimon, though, was definitely a fuck them kid moment because you literally just threw kids into a fucking computer and was like, so you're fighting digital monsters that you can die here. <laughs> and if you die, you die for good. You die for good. Yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. like, we ain't gonna talk about season three. Y'all sent the kids to a computer when you knew you unleashed the whole virus on the entire world. Y'all knew y'all had a virus in there. It was like, oh yeah, we called it the D Reaper. It, uh, we, we forgot we made it. What? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? It had a whole virus that was meant to eat things and it, and it made its way to the real world. You fucking made a virus that became real. <laughs> Which is kind of weird. Yeah, and also another another one was on Sword Art Online. That's another fucking gets Oh well, he did that shit on purpose. Like that wasn't even that wasn't that was way that was way way intentional. Kayika Ayaba was just like, you know what? Will be fun. Yeah, I'm dying of cancer. Let me just trap everybody in this world with me so you can die with me. Yeah, we gonna do that. That's what it was. He was dying of cancer. Like, yeah. fuck he basically said, fuck everybody, but like, it was, like, if you haven't seen the Sword Art Online Abridged series, you're, you're, you're missing, you're missing a good thing, where he just kind of comes, the Sword Art Online Abridged series is funny as hell, because he comes out there, and he's talking, and he got some guy, he was like, why would you do this, Steven? Steven, is that you? <laughs> he's like, how are you joining the deluxe version? I'm playing with my family, you hear the baby cry, and he's like, ah, these are good times, cherish them while they're young, Steven, cherish them while they're young. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>, ridiculous. <laughs> Bro, if you haven't watched the Sword Art Online the Bird series, you're missing something that's pretty fucking funny. Like, they're talking about the main character, and they're like, I bet you're just some kid who just doesn't know how to get along, who's socially awkward and have no real friends. Shut up! Here I have power! <laughs> <laughs> I 
five season bridge, man. I had to watch. <laughs> I watched Van Helsing. Oh, was it? Uh, was it uh, Ultimate uh, Van Helsing? Oh, Hell Helsing's a bridge. Hel Helsing a bridge. Yo, that's, that's the last funny one I watched. Fuck, that's the last one I watched. It was back in the and then that. That shit's that shit's as, that shit is funny as fucking fuck, man. We sitting up there talking like, man. I I gotta watch that again. I I haven't watched that in such a long time. I forgot some of the fucking jokes about that shit, bro. Fucking when he's sitting there fighting, dude. He's like, release for strengths level one. Level what? <laughs> <laughs> he just bites. He just shoots the motherfucker's leg. Like, oh god. Oh, this shit's real. Oh god. <laughs> Oh my god, I gotta watch that shit. I really gotta watch that. This, these are bridge be happy to die. Bridge just be funny as fuck, man. We like he be sitting there like he's like when he pulls out the mirror and he's like, now I can reveal who he's like, I can reveal who you really are. He goes, uh Are you fighting? Barely... Yeah, I'm fine. No, I'm not. I'm good. I'm ready. He's like, he's like, you guys are barely twenty somethings. Huh. Good for you. Way to break the standards. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yes. Well, my um, favorite episode is episode is episode two of their bridge series when they introduce um a character that looks like that looks like Jarrell, and <laughs> he comes down there and he's like he's like well, who the hell are you? I go by many names: Mountain Slayer, the <laughs> Chocolate Axe, the Giant Thunder. What? You can call me Tiffany. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> he looks at him. He's like. That's a manly name. Shouldn't be. It's a woman's name. Okay, I don't know how to talk to you. <laughs> oh my god! You have to watch it. You have if you have not watched Sword Art Online or Bridge series, you, they have like they have like at least 12, 15 episodes out. Shit's funny as fuck, yo. It's pretty fucking funny. I don't know, like, we create they, they, they have, they have the episode, they have, the, like, the Kirito, Kirito is just a really, like, nihilistic fucking dickhead in the, in, the, in the bridge. They have the episode where the girl died, and ever since she's died, like, his feelings have been hunting him. So he comes across the one girl one time, and it's like, he's like, I don't care, I don't care about your problems, and he tries to leave, but he sees her crying, and he has, like, a mental breakdown. What's wrong, little girl? <laughs> <laughs> Like, you, know, you gotta, like, if I haven't convinced you to watch it, you need to, like, this shit, like, Sword Art Online the Bridge is probably one of the funniest bridge series since, like, Dragon Ball Z, but these motherfuckers, what the hell is going on with this event, since, since the Dragon Ball Z uh, series of bridge, like, I used to watch the Naruto bridge series, it used to be funny, but as I, I go back and watch it, it, it's okay, it's, I think the funniest scene was when they made fun of, like, the outfits the Naruto wear, and it was like, when Naruto was talking about somebody's outfit, and he was like, He's like, we really don't dress appropriately for ninjas. He's like, how the hell do we wear some of this stuff? And someone looks at him and is like, I wouldn't be talking if I was you, Mr. Bright bright Orange Jumpsuit. He's like, dude, I'm totally stealthy. And then backs all the way out the mountain. Hello, Naruto. Okay, first thing. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, cool, going on with that. So next next topic we're going to talk about is the realest. We're talking about the realest niggas in anime. Like, this nigga is that ride or die nigga. Like, you do not want to fuck with these niggas. They are the real ones. BB, who do you think was one of the realest anime motherfuckers you've ever seen? Like, this is the realest dude in all of, one of the realest guys in anime. Um, Bleach, the guy from Bleach, the mixed guy, the Mexican, I forgot his name. Chad? It's, Chad? Yes, Chad, Chad. I will go his name is like His name is like something else in Japan, in Japanese. And I forgot. Just named Chad in America. So, wait a minute, what makes him the realest to you? That's why, they, that's why I want to know. Because he was the ride or die regardless. He knew he was going to get his ass whooped. And he still... No, this is true. And he still <laughs> would be like, you're not going to get your ass whooped too without me. I'm here to get my... We're going to get our ass whooped together. That, to <laughs> me, that's some real shit. We're like, not going to lie. Bleach, Bleach didn't have that power of friendship ship. That wasn't working for Chad. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was like the power of friendship. Yeah, I showed up. He was. Hey, if you need Bashar up. too, Bashar's up on channel too. If you need Bashar on your map. No, I got Bashar. 
Okay. He was like, he was like the power of friendship, you know. Like run that fest, yo, run that um that matchmaking again, the festival. Okay, yeah. give me mm. one second. Let me get this shit. But he was like, yeah, that just he shows was like, the power up. of friendship. Yeah, just the shows power up. of friendship. <laughs> and his ass whooped. Come on, bro. When he went to when they went to when they went to go fight the Iran cars, and he fought when they, he beat that weak ass Iran car, and then the number six motherfucker showed up and just come. He went to go punch that motherfucker, and that motherfucker just smiled at him. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> 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 I literally be thinking Chad be showing up and saying, Hey, I hear you're here to kick ass and chew bubble gum. Right. <laughs> and like, Chad, Chad, be Chad showing, I don't think Chad that's how it goes, Chad. Up, <laughs> but she's right. Chad's a writer because Chad be showing up just to catch hands. Chad be showing, he doesn't even do damage. Chad shows up to catch hands. Chad shows up to get his ass whooped. At least like, at least like ECU and, and Orihime had something. But I, I hated the fact they did Chad like that, though. The well, only ground guy him in the a whole little crew, bit of power. Um... And he got his ass whooped immediately afterwards. I did ass. Like in that episode, after he beat that dude ass, number six of Spada shows up and whoop his ass. When you gut shot a nigga and that nigga smiles at you, nigga run. <laughs> Man, if anything anime bro, if anything anime has taught me anything, is if I ever land a hit, move immediately. Cause you all know how it looks. I'm not gonna stand there for for suspenseful effect. I'm gonna hit you and I'm gonna move. <laughs> Nigga, that's the thing, bro. Just like, see what happens. You you watch this man tear up this entire dude. He get a new power up. And he takes that new power up. Right. Gut shot this dude. And the dude just looks at him and smiles. smiles. And he's like, oh. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> you see Chad's face, the Chad face was like, oh shit. I can't go nowhere now. I gotta take this L. That's okay, why when he went down, he he stayed down. He did stay down. Okay, <laughs> I, I the realest. okay, Jay, who's the realest character to you? To you? <laughs> Isaac from Castle, Isaac from Castlevania. Yes, yes. Isaac, Isaac was ready to follow Dracula to the death. He knew Dracula. Unlike Hector, he knew Dracula wanted to kill every human, including himself, eventually. And Isaac did not care. Isaac yeah, was yeah. like. Bro, if I gotta die at the end, I gotta die at the end, nigga. I, I believe in your cause. Isaac followed Dracula to the death. Dr Isaac was so loyal to Dracula. Dracula had to throw this nigga out a window to save him. <laughs> <laughs> just so, just so Isaac wouldn't, because he knew Isaac was gonna try to fight with him to the very end, right? That's how loyal Isaac was to Dracula. Isaac was so loyal. Isaac still is so loyal to Dracula. In the third season. He spends the majority of the season building an army to go kill Hector. Because <laughs> Hector betrayed him. <laughs> <coughs> like, so Isaac to me is the realest nigga. And I mean, like, the reason why I think Isaac is also the realest in the Castlevania series is because even after Dracula died, Isaac, I still felt like Isaac was his own person. Right. Out of all the characters. Hector, Hector became basically the bitch of the three vamp, the four vampire broads. Um, fucking Belmont became Sylphia's little man whore. Sylphia was just some, I mean, Sylphia was badass. So yeah. if we was to go with the second realest fucking character in that whole thing, Sylphia got it. Sylphia was bad, bro. Sylphia made me look at mages completely different because she's definitely a combat mage. And the man fighting off demons like the way she fight off, oh man. Sylphia was definitely badass. The other one, and but I, I, I think out of all of them, the most disappointing to me character was kind of Alucard, but I guess it has to go that way. Yeah. Alucard seems to be like, but then again, Alec, Alucard's having a mental breakdown and you realize how old Alucard is. He's kind of a teenager. He's not really an adult. Yeah. Like he looks like an adult, but he is, he is only like, I think 14, 16 years old, really. 14, 16 and, years old? Yeah, bro. They they bring that up in the first, the second oh, yeah, season he, when um, he grew up fast. Sophie was talking to him. He grew up fast because of his um his genealogy, but he's still like a teen. He's like a teen. He's not even an adult yet, <clears throat> and so he he's having the bigger effect. And like you could see it, he's had he's he was having a mental breakdown before those two kids came, and when them kids tried to betray him, Alucard had to kill him. He didn't like that. That shit was, bro. That hurt. But that final fight scene, oh the. the BB, have you seen this, this the last season of Castlevania? Yep, I saw that second no, season. I, I just... have it. You need to watch it. I think you would like it. That little shit had me disturbed. Like, bruh, really? 
I would love it. Me, no, me, and Brandon, me and Brandon was calling it twins for the long time because we didn't want to tell Jay because we didn't want to spoil it. We like, twins. <laughs> <laughs> twins. <laughs> I said, that's kind of like incest mixed with it. What the fuck? Ew. Like, ah. Bro, it was, it was a badass scene to me. I mean, like, Alucard's having sex with, with twins. He has a little incest in that, but he's having sex with twins. Boy and boy and girl twins, but twins. I mean, hey, yay for diversity. Bisexuality, let's go for it. Yay. Uh, Hector's fucking a vampire, even though he just became a simp after that because... She used that shit to trap him, but hey, he got his nut off. That's all that matter. You're her bitch for the rest of your, your life, but at least you got that nut. Mm. We got fucking Isaac being the realest nigga. Isaac's taking on a whole... Isaac's taking on a mage in his whole army by himself. Nigga. That is one of the hardest things. And then we got Belmont and Sylphia going against an entire demon, demon army under the church. I... That was one of the best... That was one of the most best and climactic fucking endings in scenes. And like, we talk about choreography and how they switch between all four scenes, doing like the musical, doing like the, the musical option that they had in the background. Bro, they was like, a, it might as well have been a music video. And how they switch between all four scenes, the choreography alone was just fucking insane. That's wow. <laughs> yeah, it was good. All right, so, Rel. What about you? What was who's the realest nigga in your who's the realest nigga you believe, man? Realest nigga in the animes. Yeah, let me see. I, could, I couldn't really find one in my head that's like solid, like nigga was solid all the way through. He can give two bucks. Hold on, hold on, let me oh, I think I have one in my head. You know who? You know who's solid who? all the way through? Zoro. Who? Zoro from One Piece. That, Yo. that nigga was down for every fucking thing and didn't give a damn what Luffy was doing. <laughs> yeah, well, Luffy. Not only not not only that, but like you you brought up a good point and like one of the most solid moments for me with Zoro was when um I forget the name, the giant teddy bear whole, the giant teddy bear motherfucker. Where he was like, Oh, if you want to save your captain's life, you have to uh Take take. This is all the pain he's taken during the battle. You have to take all of that, Bruh. And he, and, and he took took that shit. He took that shit. And then when Sanji wakes up and he's like, "What happened?" He's like, "Nothing. Nothing happened." Bro, that he, was he was a man standing. Man, last one standing. Zoro, Zoro is a man's man. I would honestly say that Zoro. That was the hardest shit I've seen in any anime. More hard than like fucking Goku or fucking anything from Dragon Ball Z. Was the hardest shit I seen in anime. And he was bro was like, bro was like, I take that shit for my captain and just just took it. He just took it. Stood there, bro, and took that shit. Bro, that was that was hard as fuck. I got I got to you, you. See, I'm glad you said that. I totally forgot about that scene. I was like, <laughs> I was like Zoro, Zoro, that motherfucker for me. That motherfucker solid. He ain't going nowhere. Nowhere? Will of Steel. Will of Steel, bro. Bro, like, I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, like, but he always, I think his character was always built up like that when he was fighting the dude who, who, who used the steel fruit that turned itself steel. And, and he was like, you cut steel. What will you cut next? Diamond? Mountains? He was like, nah, man. He was like, it, it ain't no, he was like, it's not a list. He was like, I'll just keep climbing until I can, even until there's no one who can be better than me. I was like, yo! That's that nigga! <laughs> That's all he wanna do. That's all he wanna do. That man saw the strongest swordsman in the world and said, fight me. <laughs> like, exactly. And got his ass whooped gladly. And he took that slash, bro. Like a champ. He, he said, You he want said, he said, fight me. He said, fight me, you baby ba you baby back bitch. <laughs> <laughs> And he, and he lost like he, it. He lost it like a, like a, like a man. And he took that He slash. lost it like a champ. Bro stood up there with his arms wide open, like looking for a hug. He was like, give it to me. Give it to me now. <laughs> Made it sound so sexual for no damn reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of this one. That, that one was just, you know. Like you went, you went, you went borderline mask kiss on that one, sir. I'm, 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 yeah. Wait, wait, speaking of, wait, we talking about masking, hello? You two? <laughs> hello? Baby? 
My test came out vanilla. Yeah, that's, that's honestly no surprise. Like, I see your ass being vanilla. My ass came out vanilla. Even though the No, partner, he about to become a determined. sadist though. He about to become a sadist. My partner determines my way. What you gonna make him a sadist though? You gonna make him a sadist? No, nah, not me. I'm not making him shit. The girl maybe, the girl maybe gonna, the girl maybe gonna talking, scratch my neck. The girl I was talking to, she she she's in the The back. girl he's dating. What? Whoa, he's cheating whoa. on Tiffany with this woman. Oh my Wait, which god. Tiffany are you talking about? About, we talking about Tiffany from the Bridge series? No, Tiffany, his wife, his pregnant wife, <laughs> is pregnant with his fourth child. Please, people on Twitch, please whoa, don't believe anything. Whoa, please, please. Whoa, people on whoa. Twitch, please don't believe anything he says. He has the novel of my life that I have. Nah, no. that's why you and Brandon had no a knowledge of. And your wife wanted you home. So I am made a it. single man with no kids. Okay. All right. Don't let Tiffany hear that shit. I don't, I don't know who the fuck Tiffany is. First place, but okay. You know it's your fucking is. wife. My you know God, she's pregnant is. with the your poor child. The chocolate. Oh, my God. <laughs> Baby. He was cheating on Tiffany with this woman that's going to make him into a sadist. Please, people on her on, the, on Jay's show, do not believe me. He says, well, my He is retarded. I believe everything that he says. <laughs> and that's your and that's your problem. <laughs> you believe? 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 You we're here to help you. You are our friend. You are not here to help. You're here for yourself. It is okay. Your own entertainment. I love your kitchen. Bro, you have one job to do, and all you have to do is go suck a nipple, bro. He had <laughs> one job. She didn't one. ask me to suck a nipple. She asked me to rub her nipple. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't ask you know, sucking nipples. So, you know, somebody posted something that I, I thought was kind of intriguing, like sucking nipples helps you to. Um, Prevent breast cancer. Hey, was it really? You gotta do the thing. Get back. I'm done. It's come to my attention that science has proven that sucking <laughs> sucking nipples prevents breast cancer. Alright, but we got way off subject on that one. But actually, that's it. that's pretty much it for our topics. Hey guys, how you got? Thank you for tuning in for another episode of Blur Talk. We're not really sorry how this conversation went because we know you guys really like it when it gets like this. Don't lie to us. But anyhow, <laughs> you dirty. <laughs> right, that's, that's, that's going too far. I said none of that. I didn't say none of that. <laughs> Anyhow, hey guys, how you guys? Thank you for tuning in for Blur Talk. I just got, yo, he closed my ears, man. Yeah, stop. We're gonna get out, we're gonna let you guys finish watching this fight as I'm getting my ass beat by this guy called Fright Lord, who's basically a Cyclops wearing a fucking Halloween. Oh, he still has the goddamn watch, I'm gonna call it. A Halloween episode. So, we hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. We hope you like it, and, um,. Watch the bite. Suck a nipple and prevent can breast cancer. It's breast cancer month. Suck a nipple. To prevent breast cancer. Alright, so yep. We might put the fight we might put the fight on fight in the next in a different episode. Call it a highlight. Okay guys, thank you for tuning in to Black Bre um I don't know. Stop that, baby. Thanks for the You think about sucking nipples, right? Yeah. I am a married man. You can suck your wife's nipples. Take care of your wife. Suck a nipple. Make sure she don't get breast cancer. I do. I do take care of my wife. You know, it's none of your business at all. But like how I'm going to have to walk up here like a Terminator. So. But okay. I'm just gonna watch you make sandwiches. Oh Jesus! We want to make some sandwiches again. This is what we're gonna. God damn it! Him with these motherfuckers. Oh, oh, oh! That hurt. All right. So, hey guys, thank you for tuning in. We want to say bye and see you guys later. The final bye. The final. The final bye. The final bye. Say fucking bye, everybody. Bye. Second nipple. Save a life.